Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> um, abortion to me is the worst blow to motherhood. Hit the nail on the head. That's what it's destroying. Not only the baby, but the mothers who have abortions. On occasions when you look and see the harm we do to one another, there is damage being done. Eventually, these become very apparent. Sometimes this takes time, sometimes a long time, and for some, never. I'm speaking in regards to the Reproductive Act, which means the continuation of abortion in America. This is genocide in the womb. You're raping out a whole generation. Where is the justice in what some of our politicians have been voting for and getting away with? Can one be an innocent bystander to killing? And that's what's happening in abortion. In March 31st, 1809, Thomas Jefferson once stated, the case of human life and in happiness, the right to life, liberty from freedom from slavery, freedom from expression, the right to work, the right to work and education, human rights are inherent in all living beings, regardless of race, sex, nationality, ethnicity, language, religion, or any other status. When the sacredness of life is being attacked, we need and we will stand up and proclaim no one has the authority to destroy unborn life. Every contribution made to improve the climate of our society and oppose permissiveness and hedonism, this is the pursuit of pleasure seeking. That's what's happened to our world. And abortion has helped that. Makes us realize that we must uphold the value of morality. We are not going away. To conclude, St. John Paul called this time we are living in in the culture of death, and he stated, the culture of death results in an eclipse in the sense of God, and man typical of a social climate and cultural climate dominated by secularism. And where there is secularism, there is no God. Without the creator, the creature would disappear, but when God is forgotten, the creature grows unintelligible. Thank Amen. you. Amen. Thank you. Yes, ma'am.